Hi, my name is Andy, and in this short video, I'll walk you through the rules feature in mParticle and how it can be leveraged to manipulate your data flowing through the platform. The rules feature in mParticle allows programmatic access to the batches of data streaming into and out of the platform by invoking Lambda functions to manipulate that data. This allows clients to transform the data that they have sent to mParticle without making code changes to their apps, websites, or other sources of data collection. There are countless ways that rules can be used to transform your data once it's already been sent to mParticle. A few examples of this are dropping bad data before it's stored in a user's event history or forwarded downstream, enriching inbound batches with additional events or attributes, modifying data to meet requirements of downstream tools, cleansing and sanitizing data, or even calling external APIs to retrieve additional information. One real life example of how clients use rules is to enrich their key events with local weather information. At a high level, the process would go as follows. Key events would be sent to mParticle with location information, such as zip code or lat long. A custom rule would call an external weather API to retrieve the weather conditions for that location, and then append those weather conditions as custom attributes to the events in question. This allows brands to understand how their customers' behaviors change with the changing weather in their area. Now that you've got an understanding of what rules can do, this diagram shows how those rules can be applied and where they sit in the processing chain. All output rules are applied to your data as soon as the batch has been ingested into the platform and identity resolution for the user is complete. Any transformations from that rule will be applied on the data before it's stored in a particle and sent downstream. Single output rules, on the other hand, are applied only to specific outputs when that data is forwarded. Let's walk through a quick demo of how to create and set up a rule in mParticle. The first step is to write and test your rule in AWS Lambda. You can see here that I've written a function called NPR test function that should update any event named play video to instead be named viewed video. The function also adds an additional event attribute called preview with the value of true, and will also read the country user attribute and update the value to USA if it's initially set to United States or United States of America. Once you've tested this function in AWS and granted the appropriate permissions for mParticle to access the function, you can create a rule in mParticle using the ARN. Run a test of the rule in mParticle with a sample batch and validate the results of that test. If it's successful, you can save the rule and begin to apply them to your connections. You'll see here that I apply this rule to my Postman feed input at the all output level. Once you see that the rule is active, you can validate the rule by using live stream and sending an example batch into your mParticle workspace. You can see here my example batch has an event named play video and a user attribute of country with the value United States. When it shows up in mParticle, the rule has been applied and the event is now named viewed video. It has the preview attribute and at the batch level you can see my country user attribute is now set to USA. Thank you for taking the time to walk through the rules feature with me and I hope you found this video to be helpful. We are excited to see how you will leverage rules to do more with your data.